Hello, my name is Kileb Anzeba. So, um, I'm going to be teaching you how to integrate Paystack into your Vue.js application. So, um, those who know Paystack are mostly Nigerians, so maybe those in West Africa. So, um, now this uh, application you are seeing here is a payment portal for s some students in a particular school in Southwest Nigeria. So, uh, I'm going to enter some details here so you can see how uh, sorry, how the application works so it, it was built on Vue.js so now I'm going to pay using paystack integration so So now it was paystack that uh, made it possible for me. The paystack uh, VJS um, um, wrapper that made it possible for me to be able to pay online. There are so many ways you can integrate a paystack into your application, but um, there is something a, a, a custom distance that has already been written for uh, VJS application. So it just makes it easy and uh there are so if i enter my card details and everything and i just click pay it will go so i don't want to do that now that's not uh the base for this tutorial so there are a uh, different um uh, sites uh, let me just say uh there are some two uh, two sites that you can go to to read the documentation like if you come to npm npmgs.com slash package and the vp stack so you see uh the the steps to you know doing it but i prefer to use this one by uh iomidi the sumo so i i really prefer his own blog so it's just straightforward very easy so i'm going to just lead you through how to do it and uh you see it's very simple to uh, to use so first of all you need to install the uh, paystack uh, package uh, uh, distance so um, let me look for okay, so, so you, yeah this is so you need to install the paystack library first so now just copy you copy everything here all right so and uh, So you just open your uh, your command prompt. Alright, so and so let me open the Okay, alright. So <clears throat> so I'm just going to so you see the into the root folder of your uh, direct uh, of your project. So this polypy is where my project is. So I'll see the into the project the root folder then just paste the you paste the this thing there so what we will copy it from the other side so so i think this thing we copy so so i just paste and click enter but i already installed view paste stack so I don't need to do any other installation again, so I'm going to cancel it now. I'll tell you the reason why I'm canceling it now. So once you put npm install, then you put a uh, uh, save you paystack. It's going to install all the packages and everything for you. So then when you have that, next thing to do now is to uh, come here. So just as I'm saying, you may see it's uh, other in other places, but I prefer this URL. So and I'm going to leave the link to this blog post. I'm going to leave it in the uh, video description so you can easily follow uh, follow along. So now you copy you copy everything here, or better still, let's just use this thing. Uh, then you come to your view. Just so first of all, 
I want to believe that you know how to use uh, Vue.js very well, you know how to you know, create your components. So basically what you just do is when you copy the paste that component here, so you come to your project and uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, okay. So you paste. Uh, okay, I already have it in my script, so I'm not going to overwrite what I have. Here. So, but if you look at it, you can see this is the paste that custom component that I copied here. So that, that's what you're seeing here. Now, um, the P three hundred naira is the name of the of the uh, button okay so the reason is just to let the person know how much they are paying for you can put anything you like there and you can also make it dynamic so just like the way it was done here so this now this is going to be either a property or a method that is uh, fetching the total payment so but in my own case the the amount i'm receiving from the student is fixed so that's why I just add code put the this amount here. So now the amount go, goes here. So of course I know you already know how to uh, create your properties and everything. So the amount is this the amount. I know we all know for pay stack you need to add uh, two zeros or just multiply by uh, hundred. So now the email you get your email face the key this key is your uh, your api uh, sorry your pay stack say a uh, public key so um then the reference you already know you need to generate some reference like yeah now i'm this i'm generating my own reference for each payment now in in my own case i'm using this is a sub account so i'm going to explain that to you how to use a sub account a sub account works like you know you send in some money to a particular account and you want it to be split into another account maybe for example in you open a client to process a payment or they are paying for a particular service so a certain percentage comes to you as agreed by the by between you and the client so instead of the money going to the client and the client later giving your own share so you can just set to everything out with a sub account so uh this uh, tutorial is not going to be teaching you how to create a sub account so open pay stack account but it's believed that you already done all that so now so this is just basically uh how to integrate so once you put this pay stack just look for somewhere below your form or anyway that you want this button to show and it's going to show so uh there are some necessary things uh okay now the um okay the call back and no sorry no this is not where okay yeah i did it so the call back and the close these are very very important so for a call back you know when the payment is successful it needs to go to somewhere so so you can do whatever you want to do here where it goes so and this is just basically the code here um there is a place where the code is on the on the on the blog so um anyway um so what you just concerned about is that uh template uh, sorry that custom component that you used then uh, then your callback this is very uh, 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 you need to put the very important and also the close this close is if the person refused to close uh, to pay to pay and they close the distance so let me uh like if i just close it here now you can see same payment closed so and that was that was what i wrote yeah where is it yeah here yeah. that was what i wrote here yeah, payment closed. so these two methods are or functions are very important also so when the payment is successful you can direct them to a particular url to maybe verify payments or 